this one. This is known as glass prism. As everyone knows about it, it is used to perform the various type of deviation process, or it may be used to find out the angle of deviation, or dispersion of light, or refraction of light. So, by the help of prism, we can perform various type of experiments. It is made of lovely glass. This one is is also made up of glass, which is known as glass well. It is rectangular in basically shape, and it is used to perform the refraction of light. By help of this, we can get the lateral displacement in the path of light by performing an experiment known as refraction to glass slab. It is used to represent the lateral displacement in the path of light. We can perform it with the help of glass. Now at last. I am going to show another equipment. This is known as Vermeer caliper. This is known as Vermeer caliper. It is also used to measure the small diameter or thickness of the objects. It is also used to measure the depth of any objects, like this, the depth of any object in micrometers, in micrometers. Here, it is also used to adjust the radius or the diameter of any objects. By help of it, we can measure in micro units. So this is one area that we also use for measurements of various objects like the diameter, radius, or the thickness of objects. It may be also used for measuring the depth of the different objects in micro units. So that's all about the basic equipments which I have shown you, which is used in the physics laboratory. And I think everyone is familiar with the name of the objects. And I hope you are also able to understand the basic use of these objects or how you can use these objects to be performing your experiment by yourself. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and like it.